Hi. Welcome. To You're live. the artist. My name is Stephen Stoder. Yes. Welcome to Live Worms Gallery here on Grant Street, North Beach neighborhood in San Francisco. I like to work with uh, mixed media, various abstractions. I enjoy bold color, the power of line through the line of power. I've lived in San Francisco for over 10 years by way of Michigan. Hence, the nautical influence of my compositions and creations. I like to represent abstractly nautical based themes. The work you're viewing now is my interpretation of international signal flags utilized by the mar Marines and Navy and used to communicate throughout ages. Now more often used in pageantry at regattas due to GPS and international uh, communications. For the past six to eight years, I've been showing at various venues where I utilize glitter on canvas. Now more recently, I have been incorporating the glitter into my academic work since most people know me as Glitter Steven. Glitter Steven. That's me. Great name, I like Thank it. You. Welcome. These are our pieces for raffle. There's four artists showing at this show this evening and tomorrow evening. This is November 2012. Here is a nice array of various marine aquatic scenery, once again abstracted using various mutes and gray scales. Lots of line work done by graphite and sharpie. An influence of street art and classic conceptual and modern aesthetic. Molto buono. We are composed of water and we are surrounded by water. I grew up around water and I live near water. So I find much influence through the beacon that is our world. Donde sta studio? Uh, I work in San Francisco and I am fortunate enough to have my studio located within my home, which is in Little Hollywood, a secret neighborhood located in the Bayview District of San Francisco. Secrets. Grazie. Up I like secrets. My contemporary, Miss Michelle Rushfeld. Yes. Artiste, artiste numero dos. My name is Michelle Rushfeld. I'm originally from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and now I'm an emerging artist in yes. San Francisco, California. Um, a lot of my work is portraiture, which is inspired by age and how it deteriorates the human form and the process um, that age has on the body. Um, this is a young boy that I did who has basically no imperfections on his face. And um, it contrasts significantly with all the aged figures that I do. Like this one, um, it has an aged print on it. I do a mixture of printing, abstract, and figurative that merge together in some of these pieces. Yes. Very nice. I work a lot in mixed media um, and oil on canvas, oil on paper, um, ink on paper, and uh, just started working with resin. 
I like the texture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Naturalistic. Well, some of these mark makings are inspired by the wrinkles that you see on the faces. So I tried to keep the wrinkles on people's faces really raw and rough to signify some of the experiences and hardening um, things that some of these people have been through that cause these wrinkles to appear. Every picture tells a story. Exactly. So does every line on a face. Well, and that's... Uh... Where did you study? I studied at the Academy of Art University, and before that at Alabama, Birmingham. I see. And now I'm just working on my own work Mm -hmm. while supporting myself. Well, yes, that is uh, the challenge to being an artist, isn't it? hands are in another part of our body that shows a lot of deterioration and experience. They get gnarled, they get beaten and worn, just like people's faces do. The tone reminds me of Renaissance drawings. I really like earth tones and muted tones. They reflect sort of that deteriorated, aged mood that I was going for in a lot of these. Um, There's a certain timelessness and deterioration, isn't there? usually stick to the male form. Yeah. And I wanted to delve into uh, painting some elderly women as well. Interesting composition. I work mostly on found objects, found wood, found boards, um, reclaimed paper, reclaimed canvases, because that uh, sort of also reflects the process of age and deterioration. Mm. Some of these boards are pretty worn and torn by the time I got to them. So this guy looks like he's reflecting pretty heavy. Yeah, he's he's got some serious emotion coming off of the, the board there. And this Wonderful. Is, thank you, and this is Natsu. Hi! Nice. Hey, everyone. Hi. Fellow studio mate. Yes. Hi, my name is Natsu Lauren. Natsu, how are you? Natsu Lauren. Natsu Lauren? Yes. And I do a lot of erotic art, concentrating on women and female. Like this? Yes. Ah, yes. I like to work a lot of juxtaposing images together, mm-hmm. concentrating on memory, realm, melancholy, and a lot of emotions that people forget and forget to think of. A lot of my work is inspired by things that women always forget to expose themselves and you know think about. And a lot of my work is mixed media, putting markings that are emotional and abstract together. Yes. This is mixed media. Yeah, a lot of my work is infused on from Hawaii, where I grew up, oh. moving to San Francisco to a more Americanized place has drawn a lot of attention to different subject matter and how to infuse those things together. Yes. I like to make a lot of my mark makings with inspirational movement that I've experienced. Oh. 
wonderful. Is this mixed media also? Yes, I like to work in all watercolor first as my layer to give a light <laughs> composure and feeling to all of my paintings and work back with a lot of oil and acrylic to give it more of a depth and feel. Pulling, pushing back a lot of textures and working and vibrant colors back and forth in my work. Very nice. Thank you. This is yours here too? Yes, this is mine. Do you draw from light? No, um, not anymore. Usually they're from reference photos. I see. So these are all watercolor and I built on slowly through acrylic and oil. Watercolor on canvas and then rebuilt. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. All of my titles have been influenced by my favorite songs. Oh? So what's the title of this one? She's working at the pyramids. And that song is by Frank Ocean. I see. Well, thank you. Thank and you. what's your name again? Natsu Lauren. All right, thank you. And here we have our violinist. That's right. And you are also a painter. And what's your name? My name is Barbara G. Spival. Barbara G. Tell me, uh, can you speak a little louder? These are my watercolor paintings. Yes. And they feature mostly cityscapes from around San Francisco. I see. We have the San Francisco Civic Center at the top. Mm -hmm. And then below it is uh, Mission Street, which is also in San Francisco. Ah, uh, Mission Street. That's right. Wall space is a premium on Mission Street. <laughs> and this one is called The Colorful City. It's a little bit of a graphic and illustrator type uh, of uh, painting. So it looks like Seattle, something like Toronto, so. Kind of reminds me of New York. <laughs> there you myself. go. This one yours? Yes, it is. Yeah, ah. that's my one acrylic. So, yes, this is a marked difference in this piece. That's right. More of an abstract, expressionist style. I like that. It's very visceral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the works at the bottom are also mine. Oh, I see. And they're nine artworks. So that one's on the coast of California, uh, out by Half Moon Bay. Mm -hmm. And there's the Nevada State Capitol building. Nice shadows. Very dimensional. I work there sometimes. Yeah. It's a really nice building. Yes. Very nice Say your name again, please. My name is Barbara G. Strival. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for coming to the Liveworks Gallery. That's right. Thank Holiday you. Holiday Bazaar 2012, North Beach. Right on. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right, right on. Okay, this is the Fritz Meister reporting from the Liveworms Gallery, San Francisco, California, A, North Beach.